charcoal pencils, erasers, brushes. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's take it easy now. Hi guys, my name is Etsukunyume and I am the best artist in the world. Hey! Don't you believe in me? Hey da. So, the reason I'm making this video is because lots of people have been asking me about the materials that I use for my drawings. Today, I'll let us know the materials that I use and how to use them. So without wasting time, let's get started. Number one on our list is the General's Charcoal Pencil. I work with the General's Charcoal Pencil because of its texture. It is a chalky medium and it blends well, most especially if you're working with the extra soft. Number two, on our list is the soft graphite pencils. I really don't have a steady brand of graphite pencil that I use since I mostly work with the charcoal pencil. Any soft graphite works for me and as the name implies, a soft graphite pencil will give even tones when shading with it. It blends easily and doesn't leave scratches or lines on the paper. I mostly work with the 3B grade. I use it to make a sketch and also to make a foundational shading before I apply my charcoal and also to add details to my drawings. Depending on how dark the details are, I use graphite pencils ranging from 3B to 10B. Number 3 on our list is the charcoal powder. You can buy an already made charcoal powder or you can get it by shaving your charcoal pencil. It is quite tedious, but not very tedious though. I have three methods of applying this powder. First is with the use of soft painting or makeup brushes. Second is with the use of a tissue paper. Third is with the use of the finger. I prefer applying it with the brush because it gives a very smooth and satisfying tone when done properly. Using tissue paper is also a good way of applying the dust, but one has to be very careful. The only time that I apply the dust with my finger is when I'm making a very dark tone. This method is the only way I achieve 100% dark value with charcoal pencil or charcoal powder. Number 4. The Blending Stump or Tortillion Although mine looks terrible, it works in a terrific way. The scarier it looks, the better it is, believe me. I use this when adding soft details to my drawings, example, cloth details, soft acne spot on the face, and so on and so forth. There are a whole lot you can do with the blending stamp. Number five, erasers. I use five types of erasers. The Tombo Mono Zero Elastoma Eraser, the Needed Eraser, the Pencil Eraser, the plastic rubber eraser and the electric eraser. I use Tombo Mono eraser when adding highlights and fine details. I also use the needed erasers for highlights and details as well. But highlights made with the needed eraser are more subtle than that made with the Tombo Mono eraser. So you must understand where needs the needed eraser and where needs the Tombo Mono eraser. But I personally work with the Tombo Mono Eraser for highlighting and I still achieve something great. I use the pencil eraser for highlighting as well. Plastic rubber eraser, I use it to clean my working environment. When your working environment is neat, it will help your drawing to be neat as well. Now to the electric eraser. I use this for very, 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 Oh, sorry about that. It is used for very strong highlights. Hope you like my song. And number six on the list is the brushes. I use the soft painting brushes or makeup brushes to lay my skin tone. I also use it to blend. It is a bit tricky knowing the type of brush to use. So from trials and error, I came to understand that the thicker or heavier the bristles, the better it is. Scanty bristles don't work so well because no matter how hard you use it, you can not get a nice toner variation. Number seven is the tissue paper. 
this is a very important tool in pencil drawing as important as it is it's not even expensive imagine that now this tool helps me in blending it is what i use first to blend my graphite or charcoal before using the brush this is how to use a tissue paper So easy, yeah? Isn't it? It is. Number eight, the paper. I work mostly with the Pelican paper and Stratmo paper. Although the choice of paper plays a vital role on the general look of the drawing, one can actually draw well on any type of drawing paper and have almost the same result. Now we know the materials that I use in making my drawings. So if you have any issue with drawing and you would like me to talk about it, please drop a comment and I will do well to treat it as soon as possible. I hope you learned one or two things from this video and if you did, please leave a like on this video, share it with people, share it with your friends, share it with even non-artists. Who knows, with this video, someone will be inspired to pick up a pencil and start drawing. Subscribe to this channel and please don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as I drop new contents. I remain your number one artist in the world, the best artist in the world. I don't care about what this guy says, but I know I'm the best artist in the world. I hope you're inspired by this video and I hope to see your awesome drawings. Stay awesome and make awesome drawings. I love you. See you in the next one, guys.